Animals like to get freaky, and as it turns out, sometimes they like to get freaky with other species. Now, the internet is filled with fake hybrid animals like shark birds, crocodile frogs and rhinoceros cocks, but in this video we're looking at real hybrid animals, from zebroids to wolfins. Join us as we count 10 extremely weird hybrid animals. Number 10 Mules and Hinnies Mules and Hinnies are probably the most common hybrids and are used for their reliability and strength in a smaller size than a purebred horse. And yet they are actually rather difficult to obtain, since horses have two more chromosomes than donkeys. This makes male mules and Hinnies sterile, meaning they cannot reproduce. Number 9 Zebroids. The term zebroid is quite a broad one in the sense that while it always involves a zebra, the other party can be pretty much anything as long as they're in the horse family. Other names for other combinations include but are not limited to Zorses, Zonies, Zonkeys, Zedonks and apparently even Zombies. Yes, as it turns out we've had it all wrong, they're not undead humans seeking living flesh, they are simply the hybrid result of a zebra and a very unfortunate human. Okay, maybe I made that last bit up, I should be sorry but I'm not. Number 8. Narwhal Beluga Hybrid A narwhal is a medium-sized toothed whale that possesses a large tusk from a protruding canine tooth. It is one of only two living species of whale in the Monodontidae family, along with the beluga whale. A beluga whale is similarly sized as a narwhal, but does not have the protruding tusk. As rare as they are, there have been documented cases of hybrids, such as one that was found in West Greenland, and a stranded example found on San Juan Island in 2011. This is another example of hybridization that may become more common due to global warming interfering with the species natural habitat. Number 7. Sheep goats. Guess what this is a cross between? Wrong, it's a cross between Iron Man and a Nacho. Actually, your guess was correct. Despite looking somewhat similar, it's not easy to mate sheeps and goats since they belong to different gene families and therefore they have a different number of chromosomes. That being said, it has happened. At the Botswana Ministry of Agriculture in 2000, a male sheep impregnated a female goat resulting in live offspring. This hybrid had 57 chromosomes. Since then there have been a few more examples, but not many. Number 6. Ligers Ligers are the result of a male lion and a female tiger mating, and they only exist in captivity, since the habitats of their parental species do not overlap in the wild. Ligers are the largest of all living cats, and have characteristics from both parents. For example, they like to swim like tigers, and they are very sociable like lions. Interestingly, ligers can grow to be larger than either parent species, something that separates them from tigons, which, you guessed it, is the result of a male tiger and a female lion. So how big you ask? Well, they can grow to be over 3 meters long and can weigh more than 300 kilos. That makes them weigh more than the average grizzly bear. Number 5. Karmas. A karma is a hybrid between a male dromedary camel and a female llama and has been produced via artificial insemination at the Camel Reproduction Center in Dubai. The first ever karma was born in 1998. The purpose of their existence is basically to combine the best of both worlds. They wanted to get a higher wool production with the size and strength of a camel, but with a more cooperative temper. Since an adult dromedary camel can weigh up to six times as much as a llama, the hybrid needs to be produced via artificial insemination, so you're not likely to see any karmas strutting around in the wild. Number 4. Savannah Cats A savannah cat is a hybrid cat breed that is a cross between a serval and a domestic cat. The first ever savannah cat was bred in 1986 by a Bengal breeder named Judy Frank. Since then it has become incredibly popular with breeders and in 2001 it became registered as a new official breed. Savannah cats have tall slim builds which gives them the appearance of size when their actual weight does not reflect this. Savannas are more social than typical domestic cats and they're very trainable, so they can often be compared more to dogs than cats. Number 3 Beefalo. The origins of beefalo are rather sad, since their pure existence has come about to improve beef production by combining the best characteristics of domestic cattle and bison. They've been around for quite a while, with accidental crosses being spotted as far back as 1749, but they were first intentionally bred during the mid 19th century. While breeding cattle and bison have proved effective in producing better beef with lower fat and cholesterol, it has had a negative effect on bison conservation. 
since most current bison herds are genetically polluted in some form by cattle. Number 2. Wolfins A wolfin is an extremely rare hybrid animal born from mating a common bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale. There is currently only one example of a wolfin in captivity which can be found at Sea Life Park in Hawaii, but they have been known to exist in the wild as well. A wolfin will hold characteristics right in the middle between the parents, whether that be relating to size, shape, colour or even the number of their teeth, with a bottlenose dolphin having 88 teeth, a false killer whale having 44 teeth and a wolfin having 66. Number 1. Growler Bears One of the few hybrid animals on this list to actually occur in the wild, growler bears are huge and scary. Interestingly, the first hybrid animal discovered in the wild was as recently as 2006, when a hunter from Idaho shot what he believed to be a polar bear. Officials examined the creature and noted that while it had some polar bear-like qualities, it also had some grizzly bear-like qualities. If the creature turned out to be a grizzly bear, the hunter would have faced a fine and up to one year in prison. Fortunately for him, it turned out to be a growler bear. There's a good chance growler bears will become more and more frequent as global warming starts destroying the polar bear's natural habitat. 